This going in and out is very difficult sometimes. Welcome, Grindle. How are Hello, you? how are you? You called my name, I had to come. I was there immediately. <laughs> I knew you wanted to talk to me, so therefore here I am. <laughs> so Absolutely. do you have any questions for me? I wanted to talk to you about Mother Gaia today. The Earth is in a delicate state right now. There's a lot of changing energies. There's a lot of things going on in the world. There's a lot of uh, different changes going on. And so be kind to Mother Gaia. Send her a lot of energy this month. This is the month for her changes. For, for you know how uh, there are, it's important for the smoothness to come to the changes that are coming and help her with your energy talk to her comfort her because it is a change and with change is also the fear of the unknown even mother Gaia knows that there's some things that she will not comprehend immediately but it is important that you give her your undivided attention in some ways because there is very powerful and moving energy coming and she has many gifts for the world if it's if the smooth transition comes the way it's supposed to and i love her your your mother gaia is the happiest sweetest world i I've, I've met in a long time she can't stop being good and kind and it is because she knows that on her surface is the future of the the galaxy and therefore she is a amazed and thrilled that she can benefit from that as well so give her your energy give her the energy that doesn't belong to you so that she can purify it but mother earth is in that way that she needs a little help a little understanding and a little more energy there's a lot coming this month a lot so you may not see it, you may not feel it, you may not know it, but it's here. There's a lot of energy exchange. There's some new kinds of energy. There's some old kinds of energy that are leaving. Ah, yes. So to help the ascension, there are some energies that have to go. And some of these are already leaving your solar system. Because they cannot bear to be around such bright light they have to move farther back so therefore you are doing a good job congratulations you are welcome is there any questions for me today oh yeah the tail one minute <coughs> oh god all right there we go there we go it's good it's good and if there are any questions let me know do we have any questions at right. this point? I do. I Whoa, do. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Grindle. This is Dan. Dan, yeah, baby. How you doing? I have a feeling that you've been with me the past couple of days. Is that right? Yeah, I've been checking you out because I want. I like the bigger body for the channeling. Okay. I think I need a bigger body for channeling, and you have it, so that's cool. Yeah, that's why that was going on. Yeah, Plus, we're we're connected genetically or something. Yes, we're very connected, and that's the other part of it. Our connection's very good. You you like how I work. You like how I talk. So yes, I'm coming to you, but it'll be a there has to be some adjustments. So I will get to you in in time. But yes, I have been around you the last couple days. You are, I'll be able to fit into your body without being in pain. So that's a good thing. So that's one thing there. And the other thing is your thought processes are also very similar in in some ways to mine. So that is a good thing too. Um, the only thing I might ask is that you do some maybe a little dietary adjustment so I can uh, feel a little bit more calm. I know you know what I mean, but that's okay. So, um, what, you, what kind of adjustment? You want like comfort food or what do you need? Yeah, not as much bread. 
Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I don't like the bread either, but that's all they give. <laughs> yeah, not as much bread, but because that's like, whoa, okay. So anyway, um, other than that, you're good. All right, all right. Thank you, Grinda. I'll make space for the others here. Okay, hold on. Somebody's talking here, and they can't. nobody can hear you. Being a reptilian that you are, maybe you can give us an update or some information about the draconians, the other reptilians, um, crossing more to the light versus being reabsorbed into source, the situation as it stands now. I mean, there's got to be good re draconians, yes, right? Yes, there are, yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit. Well, the situation is sort of confusing with the draconians because they see that the light, the the fire has started with the ascension. They see that it's not going to go out, and so they some of them feel like they, it's a no-win situation for them. And so they're, that's some of the what I'm talking about, people moving a, away a little bit. But the draconians that have embraced the fact that this can help them as well, they are staying and trying to understand what they can do. At this point, they're sort of static, not 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 truly static, but um, they are in a stasis of thought process. They're trying to decide what the next move is, how to do their next move in an upward motion, because they're not used to that. They're not used to being in this position where they have to either decide one way or the other, because they can't they can't stay in stasis because it just won't work. So uh, they are deciding how to do that. And they see what the ascension is about. However, it is not like them to be a part of something of this nature, especially when there's humans involved. Because, oh, you have to remember, at one time in history, humans were a snack. So, uh, but not anymore. But still, when they see humans, they look delicious. So to join with them without them being a snack is very difficult because they're going to have to join forces with a group of people that used to be something totally different. So now, but they see that the opportunity is there for them to expand on what they know. Okay, and so what about the human, the, um, like the bushes and the, the monarch that have reptilian, draconian in them? What about but, them? Yeah, I mean, they're not changing anytime soon. They're going to fight to the end. That's difficult. Yeah, but, you, but you're not seeing something. They're, they're in pain over the whole thing. Oh. They're, they're in great, she asked about the monarchs and the reptilians that are all around the world in powerful positions. They're hurting at this time. They're not, they're not getting along well in their own skin, so to speak, because the energies are changing. You see, whenever someone is in a very negative situation and change of energies come, it's very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. And when you're in a very positive frame of mind or doing positive things, it can be much more easily done it can transition smoothly and easily. But they're seeing that these are positive energies, and when you're in a negative sensibility and you're moving toward the light, and things are getting lighter, then you're very uncomfortable and, they're, and very irritable and very frustrated. And so you're going to see a lot more outbreaks of negativity because of that because they feel uncomfortable and negative and that changes are coming, you're going to see some outbreaks. That's all I can say. That I already know what's in the works, but I can't, I, I can't divulge. Any other question? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> ah. I have a question from uh, so some Grindle. members. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Dan, may I jump in a second? Yeah, so yeah, Grindle, may I... May I, may I offer a blessing to all those that are struggling with, uh, yeah, with their negativity and coming to the positivity, that we have nothing but love for you here, that the holy fire has you, and 
can help you come to the light in a very natural and easy way that we've all been in your situation of the deep negativity and that there's only love for you here come when you're ready they're saying yeah they say gross stay away from me but at, at the same time they're going all right I understand but I don't want to do that you're you're breaking me up you're 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 Annoyed. yeah but the you're you're chilling their buzz so anyway you're you're making them come down to earth and they don't want to do that because they were on a pretty good high there for a while do you understand what I'm saying and they were in full control and now they get have some breaks and separations in that and they're trying to pull it all together so that's very uncomfortable so thank you for that and they were they're just saying they understand and some of them might be open to that but I can't say that everyone of them is now Guru Dan you were gonna say something did you have an introduction or something I did yeah I have some questions from uh, from members uh, I have a question from uh, from David. He says, "Is Grindel aware of the existence of Kalask, the reptilian group that he channels? Is there a connection between them, as far as you know? And does they, and do you have any recommendations to David for strengthening his uh, connection with that reptilian group?" Kalask is the name. Well, Kalask has several different names. That's one name that they use when they're coming through to bring certain messages. You have to understand that the reptilians are uh, when they're they're very multifaceted. When they use one name like Kalask, that means they're bringing in a certain kind of information, and so that is more of a technological information. Is that not correct? Oh, he's I think not there, so. right? It's more of a technological information, whereas they will call themselves vet spots in for another kind of information and fendors for a different kind of information. So, but it's all basically uh, the the neutral reptilians that are trying to help Earth, but not in the way of enlightenment necessarily because we're not sure if our enlightenment will fit with yours but we do think that you and uh, oh, that we fit together in some ways since part of your DNA is reptilian from the very beginning so we are still open to give you words of wisdom I'm more open than others so but that's fine but yes, this other this other segment is a wonderful group. I don't have anything against them. They do technological understanding. They do some other things as well. But they're more a, an intellectual group. All right. Does that answer your uh, question? He's listening, and uh, I'm sure that information will help him greatly. Well, let I would like him to respond to that because. I want to get a verification on actually what they're doing because I am not in connection with all the different names that I, I know that name but I'm not sure exactly what they're doing but I believe they're the intellectuals and more technological group okay David if you're listening if you can text me on hangouts yeah, cause I, wanna, be... I wanna talk to you about that but next question I uh, have a question from Johannes. He wants to know what his um, connection to the reptilians. He says they seem right. to be interested yeah. in him for some reason. They are interested in you. You do have some uh, relatives that have some uh, reptilian in them. And also within yourself, Johannes, there's just enough reptilian to be noticeable by them. The problem is the one the thing that they're most interested in is that you're growing in the ascension and how the reptilian is working in your system and how it is uh, also enlightened 
And so that portion of your reptilian is also working with the uh, ascension, and they are wondering how that can be in a total way. But it is working in a total way for the ascension. So that's bringing them some interesting questions and telling them that it is possible for their species also to work in a very positive way. And that sort of creeps them out a little bit. <laughs> All right, noted. <laughs> David said on his um, his response to you is they are more into giving teachings, that it's about a balance yeah. between polarities, especially light and dark. Yes. That's the more, yes, that's a spiritual angle of intellectuality of they, that they have, so... But light and dark to them means something different than spirituality. You have to understand that. Light and dark is like saying good and evil. And instead of saying positivity and negativity, light and dark work in their intellect better. Do you understand He's, that? Yeah, he says so, it's also um, about responsibility. Very good. Yep. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I know who you are now. Okay, good. Hey, um... They're a very strong group. Listen to them. They're not in any way negative. I know I, I am now connected to who they are, so I understand that. Okay, thank you. That's all I have for right now. The other questions seem to be directed. All right, you know what? Place. They're telling me that I pushed ahead again, so I'm, they're kicking me out. Um, I'm, so I'm going to go and leave somebody else in because... They're saying, hey, just because they mention your name doesn't have to mean you have to come every time. So. I love you all, and I will talk to you eventually again, I'm sure. But the tail's hurting anyway, so I got to go. Great information. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I sort of love you. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> uh, See you again soon. Come visit me uh, when you're ready. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I don't want to ruin my reputation, but I think that's, that boat has sailed. So. <laughs> Love that's you, Grindle. All right. Next. All right, I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yeah.